All right, welcome back. Today we are talking about multiplying and dividing polynomials, but we're gonna start with dividing because it's a little bit simpler. So basically what we wanna do when we're dividing, because we're always only gonna be dividing by a monomial. That's all we're gonna do so far this year. So the idea is to separate them into independent fractions based on the number of terms in the numerator. So if we look at this example right here, there are one, two, three terms in the numerator. So that means we're going to make how many fractions? Three. That's right, Miss Pariseau. So notice I've taken my denominator and made it the denominator of each of the fractions. So I've crossed off to simplify here, but I took 5x to the third and put it over 5x. I took 15x squared and put it over 5x. And I took negative 10x and put it over 5x, or minus 10x over 5x. Then what I did is used my exponent rules to simplify each of the problems. So 5 over 5, that simplifies to 1. x to the third divided by x is x squared. 15 over 5, that simplifies to 3. x squared divided by x is simply x. And then 10 over 5 simplifies to 2, and x over x simplifies to 1. So the answer to this division problem is x squared plus 3x plus 2. Ms. Achilles, should that be a minus sign and a minus 2? Yep, it should. Thanks. So the answer to this problem is x squared plus 3x minus 2. Always check your word, kids. <laughs> All right, here are a couple of examples that I want you to pause the video and try on your own using the same method, splitting each of these into independent fractions based on the number of terms in the numerator. So pause the video and try these problems. Welcome back. I hope you paused the video. These are the correct answers to these problems, so if you weren't able to get those correct answers, make sure you ask that question in class. Next, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. Now, the key with multiplying is that each term in the first polynomial must be multiplied by each term in the second polynomial. For larger problems, if you're multiplying a binomial by a binomial, or even a binomial by a trinomial, you want to make a two-way table to help with this first step. So the simplest ones are where we have, say, a 1 by 2 in this first example. A monomial times a binomial. This is simply distributing, right? And this should look fairly familiar. So 5x squared times 4x gives us 20x to the third power, and then 5x squared times negative 8 gives us negative 40x squared, or minus 40x squared. Pause the video now and try this second problem on your own. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you got negative 3x to the third plus 24x squared plus 12x when you distributed that monomial. So now let's look at some of those examples where we talked about making a table. So if we have a binomial times a binomial, it can be easier to make sure you've covered all your terms by making a two-way table. Because remember, each term in the first polynomial has to be multiplied by each term in the second polynomial. So I've laid out my two-way table like this. You should also do the same in your notes, so pause the video if needed. And along the left side, I've put the first binomial x, and then I have a positive 5. And then on along the top here, I've put the second binomial, which is x, and I've written negative 3. You need to start viewing subtraction and negative as basically the same thing. We've talked about this a lot in class, but it's going to be really important here. So what is x times x, Ms. Pariseau? x squared. Correct. So what is x times negative 3? Mm, negative 3x? That is correct. What about 5 times x? 5x? Correct. And 5 times negative 3? Negative 15. Correct. Should I put my answer in standard form? Of course you should. So now we're going to add all these terms together. So we have x squared plus 5x minus 3x gives us? Positive 2x. Positive 2x. And then we have minus 15. So there is our final answer to x plus 5 times x minus 3. That wasn't very hard. It's not too bad, is it? All right, it starts to get a little more complicated when we've got a binomial times a trinomial. A lot to keep track of here. So again, we're going to make our two-way table for the binomial and the trinomial. Pause the video now if you need to to make sure you get this in your notes so you can follow along. All right, hopefully you paused and have written this down. So notice I took the first binomial x minus 2, I wrote that as a negative 2 along the left side, 3x squared 
minus 4x becomes a negative 4x, and positive 7 is simply positive 7. Now I'm going to multiply all of these terms together. So x times 3x squared is 3x to the third. Right, Ms. Perso? Yes. x times negative 4x. Negative 4x squared. Correct. x times 7. Positive 7x. Negative 2 times 3x squared. Negative 6x squared. And negative 2 times negative 4x. 8x. Positive. Correct. Negative 2 times 7. Negative 14. All right. So now I've got a lot of terms, and I want to put my answer in standard form. So which one am I going to pull first? Uh, the one with the highest exponent, so 3x cubed. And there's nothing else to combine that with. So nothing else to combine the 3x cubed with. Now, I do have two x squared terms. So I'm gonna make sure I combine both of those. So negative six x and negative four x is? Negative 10 x squared. Right, and now I have two x terms, eight x and seven x. Positive 15 x. And negative 14. So notice I'm putting a little hash mark in this bigger table so I can really keep track of which ones I've done and which ones I've combined. And then I've got my final answer which is right here. Great job, Miss Achilles. Thanks, Miss Perso. All right, and lastly, here are two examples for you to try on your own. So try solving these problems. Don't forget to make a table to help you out. Pause the video now. Welcome back. Here are the answers to our two examples. Hopefully you got these right. If you didn't, be sure to ask about it in class. We'll see you next time. Bye. Flying off. That was not just like a simple fall. What the heck? That thing came at you. I know. It was in my face. Okay. Oh my god, I'm crying. I'm just gonna keep rolling. Yeah, well, I'm putting that in the Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Calm down. All right. Here are a couple of examples.